All right, in this video what we'll be covering is how to carry out a one-way repeated measures ANOVA and von Fronnen corrected t-tests on an experiment that has three groups or three conditions that are administered in a repeated measures fashion. So the example data that we're working with over here is a data frame with the name example data and it essentially has four different values in it. We have a column for the participants, a column for the counterbalancing order that they were in in this experiment, and then the condition that they were in, and then their score in that condition. And the data is in long format such that the values for these participants in the different conditions is stacked inside the same column. You have to have the data in long format. Now, when we conduct the analysis on an experiment of this nature, we do want to make sure we calculate descriptive statistics. The package that, or excuse me, the function that I will use is the describe by function from the psych pass it package. So if you don't have it, the code to install said package is install.package is psych. Now I've actually already installed that package and I don't want to reinstall it so I'm going to comment that out so I can't run it on accident. And then I need to just call it up from the library by using the library function and entering psych in there. Then I need to describe by function. The first argument is actually the variable that I want descriptive statistics on. So example data dollar sign score. The second argument is the grouping variable. So example data dollar sign condition. Run that code and then it will actually give me the descriptive statistics broken out by condition. So in the high dose the mean was 44 with a standard deviation of 5. Low dose 14.3 with a standard deviation of 4.91. And in the placebo, we have a mean of 13.6 and a standard deviation of 5.8. So we can break out those descriptive statistics that way. However, we want to know if those mean differences are statistically significant. To do that, we need to use the AOV function for an initial omnibus test. So result, we're actually going to create a, our object to um, essentially save our model output here. So ANOVA, or AOV, analysis of variance, is the function that we'll need to conduct that repeated measures ANOVA. Now, to do so, we need to use a formula. So we enter our dependent variable, in this case score, followed by a tilde, and then our independent variables. In this case, condition is represented there. Okay. Now, to make this a repeated measures, we're going to need to plus air participant. And that is matching participant over here. Such so that we get that repeated measures output. And it looks like I have an air here. Oh, I forgot to indicate that the data is in example data. So that's that fourth and final, excuse me, second argument there. So now we've actually saved it over here, but in order to view it, you need to use the summary function. And now we can see our little ANOVA table. So if you're used to calculating this by hand, condition, this would be your essentially between subjects row right here, where we have degrees of freedom between, sum of squares between, mean square, and then our F value. And then with residuals corresponds to your degrees of freedom within, sum of squares within, and mean square within. Okay. And then here we have our p-value. In this case, it's letting us know that it's less than 2 times 10 to the negative 16th power. So most decidedly less than 0.05. So we have this significant ANOVA. Now we want to do follow-up Bonferroni corrected t-tests. So a bond for only correction is really simple. Essentially, take you, you take your alpha level for your individual t-test and then divide by the number of comparisons. So you could just conduct paired sample t-tests and do this manually. However, we can use the pairwise 
dot t dot test function to do this for us. Now in this case, our first argument is our dependent variable. So example data, dollar sign, score. The second argument is our grouping variable. So example data, dollar sign, condition. And then our fourth argument is for paired equals true. And then our fourth and final is p dot adjust method. And then we want quote BONF for Bonferroni. Run that. And then down here, it actually gives us this little matrix that lets us know. So for the high dose compared to the low dose, the p value after Bonferroni correction is less than 2 times 10 to the negative 16th. The same applies for placebo. For the low dose versus the placebo, the p-value is 1. Now really that's sort of kicking out a maximum because you could see the initial p-values if you just wanted to compare them all p-wise by taking out this last function and then running it. And here we see that p-value is, if you were just to run the paired sample t-test, is 0.67. All right. Now, obviously, you do actually want to correct for multiple comparisons, so we would leave that in there and take these initial p-values for our paired sample t-test with Bonferroni corrections for multiple comparisons. So I hope this helps. Um, good luck.